When Chinese deep-sea robots recently descended to the bottom of an underwater mountain in the Western Pacific, operators expected to see an ordinary seascape. Instead, their cameras captured dozens, then hundreds of rusted metal barrels, neatly arranged in a perfect grid across an area of about 5,800 square miles. More than 50,000 containers marked with European nuclear companies had been resting on the ocean floor for decades. When sensors measured radiation levels and found them 15,000 times above normal, an analysis showed that many containers had already deteriorated and were poisoning the ocean with deadly radiation. Scientists realized that humanity stood on the brink of ecological catastrophe. The Mariana Trench represents the most mysterious and extreme place on our planet. This massive underwater canyon stretches 1,585 miles long and 43 miles wide, reaching depths of nearly 36,000 feet. If you placed Mount Everest at the bottom of the trench, its peak would still be over 6,000 feet below sea level. Here reigns eternal darkness, pressure capable of crushing a human in seconds and temperatures barely reaching 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Until recently, these depths remained virtually unexplored. The first dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench took place in 1960, when Swiss engineer Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh spent just 20 minutes on the bottom in the Bathyscaphe Trieste. Then, for more than 50 years, no one repeated this feat. James Cameron descended there in 2012 for three hours and Victor Vescovo made several dives between 2018 and 2019, each costing about $20 million. While the entire world made rare and expensive solo dives, China developed a radically different approach. Over the past five years, this country has invested more than $50 billion in ocean research, more than all other countries combined. The Chinese created 12 new research centers, hired more than 1,000 leading marine biologists and engineers from around the world, and launched 47 different deep-sea missions. Their new Deep Sea Research Institute in Qingdao covers nearly 500 acres and is equipped with supercomputers capable of modeling ocean processes with unprecedented accuracy. Chinese corporations are building specialized shipyards for producing deep-sea vessels, where new robots roll off the assembly line monthly. In Shanghai operates a massive underwater robotics Good. laboratory with nearly 1,000 engineers. Beijing University annually graduates 500 highly qualified deep-sea technology specialists. Chinese engineers created revolutionary technology, spherical titanium capsules capable of withstanding pressure of 1,100 atmospheres, Inside each capsule sits an autonomous artificial intelligence module with quantum processors providing computational power exceeding ordinary computers by thousands of times. Over four years, the Chinese deployed a network of 240 such robots throughout the Pacific Ocean. The most impressive achievement was the Deep Dragon robot, a device the size of a shoebox made from composite material based on carbon nanotubes its quantum processors handle terabytes of data in seconds, while radioisotope power sources fuel the robot for up to 30 years without recharging. Weighing just 99 pounds, it performs tasks that previously required devices weighing dozens of tons. The most sinister feature of these robots is their self-replication system. Given suitable materials, a robot can create a simplified copy of itself in 72 hours. China is developing specialized fleets. Drilling rigs bore holes in rock formations to depths of 330 feet. Hunters move at speeds up to 15 knots at depths of 26,000 feet. And mimics can change shape, imitating sea creatures. The deep sea holds colossal resources. Methane hydrates contain energy equivalent to millions of tons of oil. Just in the Mariana Trench alone lie enough methane hydrates to power the entire world for 500 years. Polymetallic nodules contain cobalt, nickel, copper, and manganese, metals critically important for batteries and electric vehicles. One ton of nodules contains more cobalt than all terrestrial deposits in Africa combined. China plans to build a permanent underwater base, Tianlong, 
at a depth of over 6,500 feet. This modular structure with a 49-foot diameter is designed for a crew of 12 people capable of staying underwater for up to six months. The base is equipped with an autonomous nuclear reactor with 50 megawatts of power and a quantum communication system ensuring instantaneous data transmission to the surface. However, the most serious threat involves underwater cables carrying 99% of international internet traffic. In March 2025, China confirmed creating devices capable of cutting cables at depths up to 13,000 feet. These robots can install listening devices the size of a coin or explosive charges activated remotely. According to Western intelligence estimates, the Chinese have already deployed hundreds of such devices along key cable routes. One coordinated attack could paralyze banking systems, government communications, and military networks worldwide. Modern civilization, dependent on the internet, would stop like clockwork. While China floods its laboratories with money and talent, the United States is cutting funding for ocean research. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration budget dropped from $6.9 billion in 2023 to $5.8 billion in 2025. More than 500 researchers were laid off. But the most shocking discovery turned out to be related to the radioactive burial ground found. Metal analysis showed that containers had been dumped since the 1960s by European nuclear companies. Many containers had already deteriorated, releasing deadly radiation into the ocean. The amount of radioactive materials exceeds Chernobyl releases by 200 times. The burial site lies next to an active seismic fault where earthquakes occur every 15 to 20 years. If a powerful earthquake strikes, it will destroy 30,000 containers simultaneously. A cloud of radioactive dust will rise from the ocean floor and be caught by deep sea currents, spreading over an area larger than France within 48 hours. The containers cannot be safely raised. During ascent, they would explode from pressure differential. Building an underwater sarcophagus would cost $1 trillion with a failure risk exceeding 50%. The catastrophe has already begun. Sensors are detecting growing radiation doses in fish worldwide. Cesium levels in tuna have increased by 15% in the past year. Scientists warn that the, the discovered burial ground is just the first of many similar graveyards scattered across the ocean floor. The total amount of sunken radioactive materials may exceed 200,000 tons. Seismic activity in the region is increasing, while rusted containers continue slowly deteriorating, preparing to turn the cradle of life into its grave. The Mariana Trench is no longer simply the deepest place on Earth. It has become an arena of geopolitical struggle for the planet's future, where under cover of darkness, humanity's fate is being decided.